Today we're topping and we're diving into a topic that may sound a bit well unconventional, but it's absolutely essential if you're considering buying a rural or waterfront property. What are we talking about? We are talking septic systems. Uh oh, now, I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. Hold on. Before you start running for the hills, give us a minute to tell you why understanding and embracing these systems, I know embracing might not be the word, okay. uh, but it's crucial. So grab a seat, relax, and sit down because we're about to break it all down for you, pun intended, Okay. in our ultimate guide to septic systems. <laughs> First things first, let's address the big question. Okay, Dean. What's the difference between a holding tank and a septic system? Not well, everyone knows. No, and okay. and they're both are very common in the Kawarthas. Yes. So a holding tank simply stores all the waste until it, you have the chance to get it pumped out by a professional. So depending on the size of the tank and your usage, mm -hmm. you can have to pump it monthly, quarterly, or even semi-annually. That's right. Yeah. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. a septic system is, is really a self-contained waste management system that treats and filters the waste before it's safely released back into the environment. Yes. It's, it's like, like yeah go ahead <laughs> i was go gonna on. say it's like having your own little eco-friendly treatment plant right in your backyard right yeah right right now it's it may sound a little gross yeah. but it's really an amazing process so why don't we just you know walk right through it okay okay so picture this when you flush the toilet or drain the water from your sink it all flows into a septic tank buried beneath your property now in that tank the solids settle to the bottom, forming some sludge, mm -hmm. while the liquids float on top and they create some scum. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, this is the gross part, but it gets better all from here. All right, all right. So, yeah. Now, the crucial element to the septic system is bacteria, because bacteria in the tank are going to break down the solids, converting them into gases and liquids. Mm -hmm. Then, the clarified liquid, free of nasty smells, bad bacteria called effluent, it's then going to move into a drain field, where it's further, which is unburied, and it's further treated by the soil before being safely absorbed into the earth. Nothing gross about it. Right. Okay, but it's important to know a few things, and to keep your septic system happy and healthy, you need to know that, you know, there's certain things you can and can't flush, right? Yeah. So, so go ahead. Only human waste and toilet paper should ever enter the septic system. Avoid flushing anything else like baby wipes or face wipes, even if they say they're biodegradable. Yeah. Feminine products are a big no-no. Even medications, do not pour them down the sink or flush them. Or even cooking grease, they can clog the system or harm the natural balance of the bacteria. And the bacteria here are really our friends. They're crucial. Okay. Yeah. Another friend is the septic pump out guy because regular maintenance is key. You want to get your tank pumped out, what, every three to five years? Exactly. You know, depending on use mm -hmm. and have it inspected for leaks or damages at the same time. Now, if you're only a small family and only seasonal users, you may be able to push it to that five year timeline. But, you know, if you rent your cottage and are always having friends around at maximum capacity, you'll want to pump it out on a more frequent basis. Yes. Okay, but what's the golden rule about pumping out? Well, the golden rule is never pump it out in the winter. Right. Not only is it more expensive, trust me, we found out the hard way, mm -hmm. but you also risk freezing and cracking your tank because there's nothing in it. It's that bacteria. You want them working all winter for you. You want something in there, yeah. yes. Another good tip is to be mindful of excessive water usage. Okay. There's a reason the cutesy if it's yellow let it mellow signs decorate most cottage washrooms yeah they're true. not just there for decor purposes yeah, true. so a little care goes a long way in maintaining a thriving septic ecosystem mm -hmm. love that ecosystem but let's bring all this information to a real life example okay let's talk about lifespan and replacement costs sure okay? thing so you found the cottage of your dreams mm -hmm checks off all the boxes okay and you're ready to make an offer okay i'm in okay but upon further research the septic system is original to the cottage 
Okay. And the cottage is 50 years old. Common occurrence in cottage country. It really is. It's not that unusual at all. No. Right? No. But what should you do? Is, is the tank too old? Are you going to have to have it replaced? Should you walk away and look for something else? Well, I don't know. I, you know what? Let's just back up a bit. A bit of understanding and planning will go a long way here. Okay. okay? What do you mean? Well, okay. A well-maintained septic system can last anywhere from, I don't know, 25 to 40 years or even longer. And, okay. and again, it's crucial to remember, remember that age and usage patterns play a significant role mm -hmm. in determining the lifespan. Okay. Yep. Now you, you don't know though, what did the previous owner use it and all that sort of thing? Well, just think, uh, when it comes to replacement costs, it can vary depending on factors of tank size, soil conditions, and location. How much do you think it costs to replace the average septic system, Jenny? Well, I would think anywhere from 10 to 30,000. About that. Yeah. I mean, so. There are variables in there, but that's about it, right? Yes. Yeah, so when you're planning your expenses for your cottage pur purchase, budgeting and knowing that there's a potential that you may have to spend an extra 10 to $30,000 in, uh, in the purchase price or close down the road will go a long way in making sure that you're prepared for anything that might happen. Well, and what about get, getting a septic inspection, right? That's, Just get a professional, right? Inspect it. That might help it. Yeah. So that's the scoop on poop. These systems might seem intimidating at first, but with the right knowledge and just a little bit of TLC, you'll be well equipped to embrace the benefits they offer. And if you found this information helpful, the you, scoop on poop, the scoop on poop, mm -hmm. you may want to watch this video on foundations. Thanks for tuning in today. And until next time, stay informed and stay empowered. You like empowered. that one? Empowered. Yes. See you next time. All right.